Welcome back to Knife Eats, everyone. Today we're going to the Taste of Chicago. I'm very excited because I haven't been in years. I looked up some of the food trucks and they look really good. So I'm so excited to check it out. It's a perfect day here in Chicago. It's sunny, it's 80 degrees. Right now we're about to find some parking and go get some food. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned. There's definitely a lot of cool stuff here. Even stuff like this is really cool. Do you want a slice of pizza? Yeah, I can go for a slice of pizza. Just, just one? We could finish a whole pizza. Heck yes. We're Chicagoans. We don't eat regular pizza. We eat whole pies. Heavy, heavy, multi-pound pies of pizza. It's like if you were to stack a New York style pizza 20 high, that's like our regular size pizza. I think first stop is uh, definitely some drinks, some agua. So, you know us. The first place we had to stop was a uh, Thai restaurant. The Thai restaurant here in Chicago, they're pretty famous, really well known. I think it's one of the best Thai rated restaurants in the city. And they're here at Taste of Chicago and uh, it should be good. We're gonna get the mango beef salad, which is something we've never had, not even in Thailand. So this will be exciting and new. I wonder what's all in it, so we'll see. Got the good beef. It smells so good. And it smells like the Thai seasoning and like aromas that we're familiar with. So I'm really excited. You may be confused on why this video is coming up. We're supposed to be in Thailand. The videos from Thailand, we recorded in the span of seven days when we were on our trip over there. So we're still editing that footage because it's just so many hours of footage. We work full time, so we don't have the ability to travel full time, but uh, we are in Chicago. We live near Chicago. and We came to Taste Chicago because you can get food from all over this huge city in one area. And you have really nice views. Like look at this uh, Buckingham Palace or fountain or whatever it's called. All right, so we're gonna try the dumplings. They look really interesting. Let's check it out. I taste the shrimp for sure. And it's really like chewy. I don't like it. Marina doesn't like seafood. So when she tasted the shrimp, I already knew in my head what was gonna happen. I like seafood, so I'm gonna try this out. They give you so much. Look how big this is. Mmm, <laughs> it's good. You like seafood? You like shrimp? Mmm, it's definitely pork and shrimp. So let's try this Thai sausage. This thing has so many spices. Let's try their rice. What the world, it's like so sticky. They don't know what they're doing. You gotta go to Thailand. We gotta go back to Thailand. Put a like down in the description if you guys want us to go back to Thailand because this rice ain't gutting it. In Thailand, every time we had rice, it was perfect, it was sticky, it was moist. This is dry. This is dry. I don't know if it's, it's you know, a tent where they're making it from, but effort, effort. We had to stop at this place, Seoul Taco. It's a Korean taco spot. So uh, supposedly it's also one of the best right here in the city, so we're gonna, we're gonna find out. Yeah, I think uh, it should be good. It's hard to mess up tacos. Definitely can. Definitely can mess up tacos. Dude, the line, oh my gosh. It's probably 20 minutes, 20 minute line to, to get everyone. Chicken skewer and the taste of the steak taco and the taste of the pork taco. So you want one steak, one pork, one chicken skewer? Yeah. All right, this will be 14. Chicken skewer? Yeah. It's really good too. Mm. It's 
juicy. This is like a little bit of chili. Yeah, it was. Everything was fun. The char gives it such a nice flavor. Oh my god, I'm so glad I was recording. She dropped it on the floor. And she's still eating it. You want any or no? Is it that good? Is that good? You want to finish it? Yeah, I want some. Mm, it's fine. It's a little spicy. But not too much. And it's not too salty or anything either. It's just like really good. So this is what you had to do with your taco. Put some of this lime. Grab it like this. It's good. The taco is like sweet, tangy, sour. Uh, definitely a fusion of flavors, and I think definitely worth the wait because it's freaking delicious. The lime is what really puts it over the top. I, I like I like a lot of lime on my tacos. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. So I have this steak taco, and I just squeeze as much lime as I could. Like are you, are you gonna drop this? I'm gonna eat over it because I don't drop it. But it's like a little pinky taco. Let's try it out. The steak looks really good. It looks like it's just cheese fries food. Mine is really good. Mine was good too. That place is good. Wow. It's just, I'm pretty sure they have five stars. Yeah. My allergies are acting up so bad. Outside, the little like what is this like a chipotle mayo type of sauce on it? Something with a like a tanginess, and then the lime. Obviously, we love lime, and then the marinated steak. It just goes really well together. Just give it another bite. It looks good, so good. It's so so good. Even the tortilla is really good. Good for us. Good for lunch. I want more. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We're the taco experts. I've been eating tacos my whole life. I was a toddler. I ate tacos. I ate tacos for breakfast. I ate tacos for lunch. I ate tacos for dinner. I ate tacos and beans. Tacos and meat. Tacos and corn. Supposedly they won. They won a contest for like the best taco in a part of the city. So uh, we're really excited to see. De definitely gonna be different flavors. We'll see if this uh, Pakistani Indian taco is really what it's cracked up to be. While waiting in line, I uh, spotted something interesting. I see what type of tortillas they're using. For those who don't know, Totonilco is a really famous tortilla brand here in Chicago. And uh, the A ones know it. It's the best one. Not too thick, not too thick. Good bite. Or something else, right? Oh, that was it. Oh, was it? Just the, just the fries? Just the okay, let's go. <laughs> I thought we were going to do the taco. I just got the fries. They were they had the best rated taco. It's the same it's the flavors. Same meat. Yeah. The same meat. Mm, that's a lot of garlic. <laughs> it's really good. The flavor is very different. It's garlicky and creamy. The fries are really nice and crispy. They're curly fries, which are my favorite. And it's topped with onion and cilantro, just like a taco. They're really good. I really like them. I've never had anything like this. No, probably. Mm. Is Scale 1 to 10? Okay, 8.5. It's pretty good. This is the same exact, the chicken is the same exact thing that's in the taco. I wonder if I could just ask some for a tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, Marina messed up here. I know I was going to review the taco since we're taco experts, but we're going to try the meat from the taco because the tortilla is the same. I know that they picked the best one in the city. Let's try the, the, the taco meat. So let's right try. Oh, 
loaded chata fries. It's the same meat, it's in the taco, so this will help me determine whether uh, I approve or not. Mm. This is really good. You taste the cumin, you taste all the spices. Definitely Indian Pakistani dish. If this meat, if this beef was on a taco with that tortilla, it would kill it. Really, really good. Mm. And then another thing, that's another point. The fries are super crispy. They'll say seven and a half out of ten. Marina had a rookie score. Round number. Rookie score. You said 8.5. Oh, you said 8.5? Okay. Not non rookie score, but let's keep going. Tell us how much it was. Nine dollars for Gatorade and water, which am I crazy for thinking that's not that bad? Because I feel like at six flags, like this is like over. Oh, yeah. I just don't like that we have to wait like twenty minutes for this taste of Chicago was much smaller than previous ones. It's only 30 vendors this time, so the lines are just so long. 20 minutes for water, 20 minutes for tacos, 25 minutes for long lines. Honestly, I probably wouldn't recommend the taste of Chicago unless you're okay with waiting in long lines. I'd rather just go sit down and eat. Like The purpose is to try a little bit of everything, but the heat and the lines I think it's a no this year. In previous years, it was like hundreds of vendors. The lines were like five minutes, ten minutes, you know, a little bit longer for like the really popular ones. But now it's like everything is 20 minutes, 25 minutes, which is kind of ridiculous. There's only 30 vendors in total. And um, we did come in the last day, so I, I don't know if the previous days were busier. Over a million people show up during the weekend, you know, so it's a lot of people. So let's say it's 300,000 people and there's only 30 vendors. You know, that's it's not enough for it to be quick, you know. Although the prices were like very reasonable, I was shocked. I thought we were going to spend much more than what we actually spent. So in that sense, like you kind of have to weigh it out, you know, like each like the little tacos were three bucks, which is similar to like a restaurant. So yeah, it's fun. I mean, if you have nothing to do and you just want to you're okay with waiting in lines and totally but if you don't like lines don't come we don't like lines we're not patient people so other than that we good <laughs> yeah i think maybe next year they do add a lot more vendors and it'd be fine but this year was definitely small you got the right stuff man thank Modelo. you thank you line that's not 40 minutes long cheesecake parking that was like close to Grant Park is that what it is and it's kind of a sketchy building they don't even have an elevator you have to go through these like stairs I don't know I'm glad we're not here at night put it on the yeah. another set of stairs Are you tired? <laughs> yeah, so this looks like a barn in here. 
Probably like the oldest building in Chicago. Look at the roof. And we're back. We're done. Bye bye, Chicago. High five. High five. High five. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed our little taste of Chicago adventure. And we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.